Greetings and welcome back to part 2 of our look at the newly released GT1 pack by Ritza for Automobilista 2. Now today is all about the McLaren F1 GTR and we're taking it out to its debut racetrack, that is the Jerez circuit. So we're going to look for differences and similarities between our first video which featured the Mercedes. Now I liked the Mercedes in the context of Automobilista 2. But really, in the overall scheme of sim racing itself, I find that the car is just okay. There's definitely areas that the car can be improved, and a lot of that is just due to the nature of how Automobilista 2 right now works. We'll get into that, but mainly we're going to get into how this McLaren F1 GTR drives. Again, just like with all my reviews, this is agenda-free. I don't care if you purchased Automobilista 2 or not, and I have no affiliate links, so I'm not trying to sell you anything. This is purely about the joy, hopefully, of driving the McLaren F1 GTR, and maybe to get you to try something that you may not have tried before. All right, let's give this McLaren F1 GTR some laps around Jerez. All right, the McLaren F1 GTR, it's definitely different than the Mercedes. I mean, it belongs in the same class. But it is really reactive and we've got some more in tires now. But it... It still has the traditional AMS2 car's way too reactive. Your, the seesawing on the wheel is just a reaction to what the car is doing. It, you can't... You really shouldn't be moving the wheel around this much, but that's what the sim is doing. It's just, it's just an overreactive sim. So in the context of Automobilista 2, I like this car. I think I might favor the Mercedes a little more just because it doesn't feel quite as overreactive. Like, it's really easy to spin the rear tire in this car. You have to be very measured with the throttle, I feel, more so than the Mercedes. I do like the braking a little more. You can trail brake a little easier. You can utilize the brake a little harder. You can be more aggressive with the car. That shouldn't be happening. That right there, there's no reason for that car, this particular car, to break loose like that. The, fa the, the setup seems to favor turning in a little earlier than I would normally do. And again, in the last video, there were some mentions in the comments about they found an issue with the diff, it sounds like which may help when they fix it, may help the car, may help that overreactiveness and the propensity for the car just to kind of break loose with the back end on entry. Which would be nice. I really like this circuit. I'm not very familiar with Jerez at all. Only by way of the old MotoGP game. The very first one on the PlayStation 2. Otherwise, I I just don't know this track this well. This is the fun part about Automobilista 2, is you get to run tracks that you normally wouldn't get to run. So I appreciate that. Back to the McLaren here. There was also something made mention about the stiffness of the sidewall in the tires. I don't, you know, these are all anecdotal things that I don't actually know for certain. They make sense from what people are saying, but obviously I don't know for sure because I'm not the developer. I don't notice... Jeez. This car is just wild when you try to do high-speed corners with it. And then you have that typical AMS2 thing where you get so far in the steering on a slow-speed corner and it tries to... Oops, sorry. tries to yank the back end around. Uh, but the car being so overreactive really causes havoc in those corners on high speed turns. It just shouldn't move around like that. See, like that, there's no reason for the car to do that. 
I mean, I, I like the car. It's kind of fun. I just wish it was... It drove more like an actual race car so I could really pressure it. This just makes it, you know, the, the way Automobilista 2 works, it just makes it feel exciting without getting to pressure the car a whole lot. So you really feel like you're doing something without actually doing something. I don't know. That's, that's how I feel. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm pushing hard enough for it to start doing the things that it's doing. Anyway, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this review. I'm sure AMS2 fans will like this car, it, it's, it's just okay, it's not really my thing. I prefer the Mercedes, if anything. So uh, if you're new here, welcome, consider subscribing, hit that like button if you like this video, uh, hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos. You all have been great, I've been strange, take care, and I will catch you in the next video.